All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas well you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time the great bruce lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight champ Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height, but the same reach. We set it inside Ladies the octagon here is Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Renato Moicano. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Griffin, the rules are locked, man. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, and fight. You ready? goes, you've got a submission specialist on one side, and on the other side, maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC, but in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon, because that one skill he has is so good that you're in your danger the entire time. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Moicano. What a punch. Big leg kick land. Oh, that right hand is on point. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so, though. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted, 
trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Moicano. Oh! While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go round one. Came up inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night that landed. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Hanato Moicon. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Big kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big punch land. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. to establish that jab once again. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found. It has been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Punch his block. Big shot lands. Wow. Moicano's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, big head kick. Looking to set up a knee of his own. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Hands higher, hands higher. Well placed kick there by Moicano. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets stunned by that leg kick. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Moicano gets touched by that kick there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys even the match. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. 
And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick. Now connects with a right. Nice defense there, huge block. Moicano gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. There's no tell on that leg kick. Wow, huge head kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, wow! Head kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big roundhouse now just misses. Pretty good right hand. Moicano gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful punch. Execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking tonight. He got it done with the strikes. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make his impact on the judges' mind. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Big head kick. Oh, nice high kick. An uppercut in. Boycano gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Looking for the counter right now, no good. Single leg takedown. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Big body kick. Seconds winding down in round two. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He's very tricky to throw that body kick. Outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Boycano gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Both fighters throwing heat now. And they separate. Nice stupid punch. Moicano's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Leg kick checked nicely by Lee. That was a thudded leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice day to the body there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big head kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice right hand. Lee gets hit with a kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big head kick there. That's a big strike right there. Misses with the left hook. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Luke. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee's inner thigh a deep shade of purple at this point. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, and he caught the kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Just missed with the straight left hand. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Moicano gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. One, two there by Moicano. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Goes to the body there. Big kick land. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Big head kick land. Oh, he 
landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. Throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a touch. And now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's going high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, yeah, right hand. Sneaky head kick. Boycano gets caught with that punch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Unable to connect there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, what a punch. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Boycano gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Able to check the high kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Beautiful body. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Moicano. Big punch land. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. What a body kick. One minute to go in the round. Look at the whip action that 
come from him throwing that kick. Body shot there. to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he is back up to his feet. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat You gotta be the only one. Otherwise, you're gonna land one. That's gonna shut everything down. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round was a confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Lee gets hit with a kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. One, two punches, true. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch, Lynn. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relativities. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Liver kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at him dig his shit right under his opponent's elbow. Big head kick land. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Moicano's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Head kick lands. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Nice leg kick land. Straight. Some body shots. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. The next with a right. Big body kick land. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Straight punch land. Big shot to the head. Cut counter, that'll work. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Choke. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. He's going low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, 
right hand on point. Ooh. Right punches there. Unable to land with that punch. Switching stances here. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Beautiful kick. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Ooh, blocks the shot. Beautiful head kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Nice kick. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Nice. Shot to the body there. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight, and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! So the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly...